Hi, I am Dr. Aslan Khan and today we are going to discuss the topic of twins and multiple fetuses. In this lecture, we will define the twins, the type of twins, the incidence and the factors increasing the chance of twins as well as the topic of multiple fetuses and their signs and symptoms. So at the very outset, the definition of twins. When two offsprings are produced by the same pregnancy, these offsprings are termed as twins. Normally in human beings, single fetus produced in a single pregnancy, this is called singleton fetus singleton fetus when one fetus is born in a pregnancy this is called singleton fetus and when two fetuses are born in a single pregnancy these are called twins basically there are two types of twins the monozygotic and dizygotic the monozygotic twins these are also called as maternal twins while the dizygotic twins these are called as fraternal twins The maternal twins are monozygotic twins. These are always identical and have same shape as well as the same sex. Well, in case of dizygotic twins, these are called fraternal twins and these don't resemble each other. These are non-identical and are different from each other. And sometimes the sex is also different in these fetuses. The monozygotic twins may be defined as they develop from single zygote. Therefore, these are called as monozygotic. Single zygote splits into two embryos. For example, if we draw a rough sketch, there is single ohm released from the ovary of the female which is fertilized by the single sperm. These two haploid cells these unite to form the diploid cell called zygote. So this zygote is formed. Zygote undergoes mitosis and split into two zygotes which are separated from each other and each zygote it is divided and redivided to form embryo and the fetus. So two fetuses are born from the single zygote. This was a single zygote which give rise to two fetuses therefore this is called as monozygotic and it should be kept in mind that these two fetuses have arise from the single zygote so these two fetuses bear the same genome because these are produced from the same ova fertilized by the single sperm therefore these are always identical and resemble in shape as well as in sex therefore these monozygotic twins these are always identical and are termed as maternal twins well in case of dizygotic twins they dwell from two zygotes it means that two different zygotes and embryos are formed so in this dizygotic case, multiple ova are released from the female. Multiple ova are released. For example, in this dizygotic twin case, the female released two ova. This ova is fertilized by a different sperm and the second ova, it is also fertilized by a different sperm. So this will form a zygote and this second fertilization, it also forms a zygote. So there occur double fertilization. Two ova released which were fertilized by two different sperms. So these both zygotes, these are different from each other. Each zygote will multiply by means of mitosis and give rise to the embryo. Similarly, this will also produce another embryo and develop into two different fetuses. And these two fetuses will be different from each other because these were produced from two different ova fertilized by two different sperms. Such fetuses are also called as fraternal twins which are non-identical and are different in shape and sometimes these are also different in the sex. Other characteristic feature of the monozygotic and dizygotic twins are the maternal and fraternal twins are. The maternal twins are always identical while the fraternal or dizygotic twins these are non-identical and are different in shape and do not resemble each other like maternal twins. The maternal twins share same sex. These are always of the same sex either the siblings will be male or female. Well, in case of dizygotic or fraternal twins they may or may not have the same sex. For example the siblings may be born with the same sex both boys are both girls as the siblings may have different sex the twins may have boy and girl they share the same placenta in, in case of the monozygotic or maternal twins both of the fetus will be provided with the same placenta the placenta is the organ of nourishment which produce connection between the mother and fetus for the transportation of material oxygen and the removal of waste from the fetus so in case of monozygotic twins both of the fetuses will be developed in the single placenta in the mother womb while in case of dizygotic twin as they have two different zygotes and each of the zygote will produce its own placenta so both of the fetuses will have separate placenta or each fetus will develop in its own placenta next is in case of monozygotic twins these bear same genotype because the same egg was fertilized by the same sperm which give rise to a single zygote as we have mentioned in the sketch this zygote was mistakenly or abnormally split down into two zygotes resulting into two embryos and two fetuses however the genome will be same well, in case of fraternal twins or dizygotic twins, their genome will be different because two ova are released in the females which were fertilized by two different sperms, so therefore bearing different genomes. Now the incidence of twins production. 
there is about 0.08% incidence of twins production. 0.08% means that 8 pregnancies out of 1000 pregnancies will produce twins. And the delivery time between two twins, it ranges from 15 minutes to over 60 minutes. This is the time interval between delivery of two fetuses or twins. Now we'll discuss the factors which increases the chances of twins. These are the factors which increases the chances of twins. The first factor which is responsible for twin production is advanced age of the woman. For example, women over 30 to 40 years of age, they bear high estrogen level. And this high estrogen level, it induces multiple ova production. Multiple ova are released when there is high level of estrogen. Next factor is the number of pregnancies or the number of previous pregnancies. This is directly proportional to a twin production. For example, if a female had passed many pregnancies, the chances of twin production will be higher. So it is directly proportional to the twin production. Next factor for twin production is race. It has been observed that the African women, these bear highest chances of twin production. African women had highest chances of twin production. while the Asian women had least chances of twin production. These may be due to varying concentration of estrogen level in both races. The fourth factor is heredity or genetics. For example, if the woman was herself a twin or any of the sibling of the woman produced twins or their parents or relatives who produced twins will also increase the chances of twin production in that female. Next factor is the assisted reproductive technology. For example, in vitro fertilization, in vitro fertilization, we can also call it as test tube babies, IVF, or artificial insemination. In both these techniques, there is hormonal treatment. There is hormonal treatment and these hormones may induce multiple ovulation. And if multiple ova are released, the twin production chances will also increase. So these were the important factors which increase the rate of twin production. The next component of our topic is multiple fetuses. As you stated earlier, if one fetus develops alone in the womb, it is called singleton fetus. And in case when more than one fetus are born in a single pregnancy, these are termed as multiple fetuses or multiple births or multiple pregnancies. For example, the twins in which two fetuses are born in a single pregnancy, the triplets in which three fetuses are born, the quads in which four fetuses are born and so on. These are called as multiple fetuses or multiple pregnancies. It is pertinent to mention here that the types of the multiple fetuses are just like the twins, the monozygotic and dizygotic. Monozygotic and dizygotic. Monozygotic means maternal twins or maternal fetuses and dizygotic means the fraternal fetuses. And the same factor of the genetics, race, the previous pregnancies, Increased age and assisted reproductive technology are responsible for the multiple fetus production. Now we will disclose the signs of twins and multiple pregnancies. They bear the same signs of severe nausea and vomiting. The woman has very tender and sore breast. There is rapid weight gain in the first trimester by the woman. SAG means human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone. The human chorionic gonadotrophin level is highest in the multiple fetuses and twins. There is high fetoprotein level in the blood. This is another protein released by the fetus and these both quantities can be determined by the blood test. So the blood test will reveal high level of HCG and fetoprotein. So this was all about the twins and multiple pregnancies. Hope you learned a lot in this lecture. Keep watching my videos. Thank you.